class. Welcome to lesson 3 of the dentition in mammals. For today we are looking at the structure and care of the tooth. I'm Miss Eugenia and your Minza. Let's begin. So at the end of this lesson you should be able to describe the structure of the tooth and ways to care for the tooth. So we have our key terms. Crown, roots, neck, enamel, dentine, pulp cavity, cement, periodontal membrane, jawbone, gum. So at the end of this lesson, you should familiarize yourself with these terms. So looking at the structure of the tooth, we realize that at the very surface, you see a whitish uh, structure or a whitish substance. This whitish substance is known as the enamel. And this is the first layer you get to when you are looking at the structure of someone's tooth, all right? A typical mammal's tooth. You see an enamel. And the enamel is considered to be the hardest part of a mammal. So the enamel is found at the crown region. The tooth in itself is divided into three regions. So we have the crown, which is the topmost region. In between the crown, we have the neck and the final part being the root. And beneath the enamel, you find the dentine. And the dentine uh, covers about half of the tooth, the structure of the tooth. And beneath the dentine, you have the pulp cavity. Now the pulp cavity runs from the crown through the neck to the roots. And within the pulp cavity, that's where you have the blood vessels and nerves running through the teeth of the organism. So typically when you take in a hot food or a cold food, where you are likely to sense um, some discomfort, it will be coming from the pulp cavity of your tooth. So that's where your blood vessels and nerves are. So typically that's where you will feel something. So that is the um, pulp cavity. And then at the neck region, we have the gum. Now the gum is beneath the whitish substance when you uh, smile excessively. So typically here, you have the gum. Now the gum is also um, running through to the root region, all right? It's embedded within the jawbone here. Now the jawbone is within the roots, all right? Now the jawbone helps hold the teeth in place. Now this it does with the help of a periodontal membrane which runs through the jawbone and the tooth. All right? So the periodontal membrane allows for the tooth to easily sit in place. All right? Now this function is facilitated or it's helped by the cement. All right? The cement performs the function similar to the cement used in building. So it helps keep the tooth in place. All right? It helps uh, hold the teeth firmly in place in the jawbone. That is the structure of the tooth. So the tooth, looking at the structure, we have the crown, the neck, and the root. So from the crown to the root, you are likely to find the enamel. Beneath the enamel, you have the dentine. And then you have the pulp cavity bearing the blood vessels. And, the, and beneath the entire tooth, or the structure which holds the entire tooth in place in the jawbone, is the periodontal membrane being assisted by the cement. Now moving on, how do we care for our tooth to avoid any damage to it? First of all, you need to clean your teeth regularly. You need to brush your teeth at least twice a day. Not just regularly, it means you can just pick any day at all, no. You have to brush your teeth at least twice in a day and avoid eating too hot or too cold food to avoid getting sensitive teeth so that you are not able to eat and um, enjoy the meal as you should. So you avoid too hot or too cold foods, all right? And also you avoid eating too many sugary foods. Too many sugary foods can cause tooth decay in the long run. So you avoid eating those foods and also avoid rough use of the tooth. Some people decide that they'll use their tooth as can openers and other uh, uses for the tooth instead of the use which is to cut, to hold flesh, to grind and chew. They use the teeth as can openers and other functions which tend to destroy the tooth. It can cause cracks and uh, breakage in the teeth. This is very unhealthy. So you avoid rough use of the tooth. And also you visit the dentist regularly, at least twice in a year for regular checkups of your tooth to make sure there is nothing happening with your tooth. And also you eat calcium rich foods. Calcium rich foods include cheese, milk, etc. You can eat those foods to help you get stronger bones and teeth. Calcium builds stronger bones and teeth. So it must be included in our diet. 
and also you have to chew fibrous food all right examples of fibrous food include the sugar cane also it will strengthen your teeth because of the healthy exercise it will put your teeth through you are strengthening your teeth in the process so these are some ways by which we can care for the teeth so for today we've looked at the structure of the teeth and ways to care for the tooth i believe this class has been very insightful for you very good now for your assignment state five ways of caring for the teeth thank you and have an awesome week don't forget to subscribe like and share this video